Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys today a little bit about uh, just how simple it can be with a CFL grow. Um, it's not difficult, so let's not make it difficult. And I'm gonna make this video uh, probably less than five minutes because whenever I'm on YouTube, everything seems to be all dragged out and nobody can ever explain it at once. So we're gonna try to make this video quick and informative, okay. So anything you want to do with CFL lights, you can do with a normal, uh, just everyday bulbs that are CFL bulbs and everyday lamps like this. Okay, if you don't have a lamp like this, a desk lamp, okay, you can always find these probably for free or for maybe eight bucks at the store. I modified this one to make it this small and these this close together. You can make your own, <clears throat> but I would just buy them for five or 10 bucks. So you can find one on the side of the road or a tag sale. You see them at tag sales all the time, 50 cents a buck. Okay, grab them, people don't want them. When you get them home, you wanna clean them up. You wanna make sure that they're very clean and they stay very clean. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is, oh, okay, what you're gonna wanna do is a lot of times you're gonna wanna take uh, bulbs like this, okay, and put them together on a splitter. And when you have hoods like this, this is a hood, a dome, a reflector, this is a hood or a reflector. When you have these, when you put bulbs in a splitter, they don't fit in here. So you have to make an extension with a piece that looks like this. Okay, I'll show you the piece. That back section in there is its own separate piece. Okay. And then you got a two in one with the bulbs. Okay. You want to buy that piece in there so that way it makes it long enough to stick out of the hoods. Because a lot of times you won't get a, a hood wide enough to stick out of the hood. Okay, so that's just something that you might run into. So always just buy that little piece. It's only a couple bucks. Okay, and if you want, <clears throat> you can also get a stand like this that stands straight up. And you can always make it so that way you can take this stand out. Okay, you could take this bottom base out of the stand and you could put this on its side like this and you could always have it like this hanging over the canopy of the plant. Okay, you can figure it out how you wanna do that yourself. There's a million different ways to do it to suit exactly what you have going on. If you wanted to keep it simple and do these, you can probably get these desk lamps for a couple bucks each. And these bulbs, I've gone over these bulbs before, but I'll show you guys again. Okay, what I was talking about, the 5,000 5, K, that's 5,000 Kelvin, that's important. And then this here too, lumens, is important as well. So 1,600 lumens per bulb. And if you think about it, what they recommend is 7,000 per plant. Okay, so just in this right here, there's going to be a little bit over 7,000. All right, so just within this, you have enough for a plant, but they re they do recommend more than that. You can go in excess of 15,000, you know, it's not a problem. So you're gonna wanna get these in 5,000 and, and these in 2,700. Make sure it's 23 watts. Not, it's gonna read as 100, but it's true wattage is 23. Make sure it's 23. Make sure per plant you have about 200 watts if you can do that, okay? Like I said before, that's gonna bump your electricity about maybe nine bucks a month or something at the most okay so the last minute of this video i'm just going to recap for your bulbs one of these grab it in 5000 grab it in 2700 if you want you don't have to you can throw in a couple leds at 6500 just to make the spectrum a little bit better and a little bit broader of a spectrum you don't have to do that Take these pieces here. You can get these, you can probably even see the part numbers and stuff here, dual socket adapter. Okay, you can get these at anywhere. Walmart probably has them, Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace, Rockies. Five bucks for this. And then all you're gonna need at that point is your soil and a place to grow. And you should be good. You should be well on your way, okay? It's that simple, guys. Keep your CFLs about four to six inches away from your plants and good luck.